So after last week's complete disaster, I'm going to try again at making a gig vlog today. So it's Saturday the 3rd of July 2021 and tonight will hopefully be my first gig, my first live gig since the 14th of March 2021. Um, th this gig, um, <laughs> I actually only came in like two days ago and it's actually with the Red Hot Chili Pipers and it's in Fife. <laughs> Uh, deepest, darkest Fife, Glen Rothis, uh, near Glen Rothis. Uh, it's actually, it's an outdoor gig. Um, well, I think all gigs have to be outdoor or ve well ventilated, but they all got COVID thing. Um, so, yeah, the weather's not been great, but I'm sure we'll be fine. And yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm excited. I had to change my pipes over and everything. Um, this set here, which, <laughs> an interesting fact for some of you, um, I'll, I'll put some shots up on screen here, but these are actually, th these are my chilli pipes and these are actually the pipes that I've been uh, competing with over the last year with all these online solos and yes, um, the, the shame of it really actually, the, the purest in, in me thinks, oh no, I should not be playing Peebra competitions with the Red Hot Chili Piper logos all over the pipes, but uh, they're, they're a good set of pipes obviously, the logos and all that don't make a difference to the sound um, so that a very good set of pipes, and in B flat mode with the bag cover and everything else on. I had to dust down a shirt, um, and it's also bleached, been bleached by the sun because it's uh, sat in the window for a year um, on the the rack thing. Was it? Yeah. Um, and the kilt, which has, I think you can see the cupboard there. The kilt has been in that cupboard since I think it was the end of February was the last gig um, last year. So the kilt's been ironed, and that's looking nice as well now. But um, but yeah, what a stress. This this car, I don't know if, if you, some people saw it last week, the car broke down on the way to the, what was supposed to have been the first gig um, since the start of the pandemic. And um, I did, I saw online someone had commented um, somewhere saying that, um, that that didn't even come close. I, the, the title was every, every Musician's Worst Nightmare. And someone said that, um, <laughs> that breaking down in your car on the way to a gig didn't even come close to be in your worst nightmare. I mean, I can't, I mean, apart from forgetting your instrument, um, I can't think of anything worse. So um, do comment below and let me know what you think would be a musician's worst nightmare. Um, it'd be interesting to see what uh, people say about that, but it was a nightmare. It still is a bit of a nightmare. The car's not fixed yet. Um, it won't be fixed, actually. It's going to the scrap. Um, it's, a, it's a total goner, so um, goodbye, GTI. Um, Poor thing, but, but yeah, very excited to be out gigging tonight. Um, and speaking about these Pebro competitions, well, that's they, this has been quite a shock to me. Um, honestly, this is um, crazy. I got, I think, was it the, the BCPA uh, C grade Pebro was my first ever placing in a Pebro competition. I got a third, a, a very decent third, um, and then first place for the Athol Gathering. C grade P rock with the Battle of Old Air number two. Um, that was a shock. That, that was honestly a big shock. And then, yeah, second place for the Eagle Pipers C grade. So the, the P rock's going all right just now, actually. Um, I, for the last 10 years, have not done much P rock at all, in fact. And um, <laughs> it is only with the lockdown that I thought well, maybe we should try that, try and have a go at that. I have been going to these Peabrock Society things as well and um, listening to some of the chat there. It's been brilliant, actually. I highly recommend it. I'll, I'll link the Peabrock Society below and Roddy's website for some of the, the Peabrock recordings as well, which are very good. Um, but yeah, it's been very nice. I've been very much enjoying it. Just need to get the light music stuff on the go now. Um, i do a wee bit better with that. Yeah, MSR. So, um, yeah, it's it's actually ten past six just now on yeah, Saturday the 3rd of July. And... Um, the reason the, the vlog, the gig vlog, has started so late is because the gig is actually really late. I don't know how much chat I'll get with people on camera later on. It's it's very much a kind of get in, get out type gig. Um, I have to be there at half eight. I've got a couple of hours yet and it's only down the road really from Perth. Um, 40 minutes or so. And yeah, so I don't know how much chat we'll get. And we're playing like an hour later for half an hour or so. Um, it'll be a really short night, so I do hope I get some footage 
of, of the gig tonight. Um, I was in some chat, it's, it's been ages since I last saw everyone as well, so um, crazy. But yeah, um, very excited to be back and um, I'd better just have one more check of the pipes, make sure they're working fine and head over to Glen Rothes, obviously. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. Yes, we're on. Oh, that's not going to be bad. Uh, and yes, you can see we've got the weather for it as well. You can't really see it, but it's absolutely pouring down. So I must admit, I'm, I'm quite nervous to be doing these gig vlogs again. It doesn't feel quite as gig vloggy as before. I've not got the, the GoPro and all the time lapses and all the music just yet, but just getting back into the swing of things. Um, or at least trying to after last week's breakdown and all that. So, um, yes, the quality will improve again, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, for, for now, I'm going to drive over to Fife. I've got enough fuel. I think there's enough fuel. Oh, yeah. Right, I'm going I'm to get to Fife and uh, let's see how much of the gig I can actually film as well. That's, that's the thing I'm most... Um, um, most excited about tonight actually is actually filming just quick bits when usually when there's solos and all that, I'm sure uh Cammy and Harry can deal with all them. <laughs> um well whilst all the solos will be happening, I'll just nip to the side quickly, get the phone out and um capture some actual gig footage. I can't wait. Um so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive all the way to Fife and um Fingers crossed we're not actually playing outside. Hopefully it's a marquee with lots of ventilation, of course. So uh, let's get to Fife, let's get to Fife. Please to say I've made it. There's Stevie. Oh. <laughs> and uh, it's it's outdoors and it's pouring down. Right, we've got a snare drummer and drum kit player on the right hand side. <laughs> and we've got the singer, Chris Justin. <laughs> yes. And Willie, the other pipe arms. I don't know who else is here. I don't know if is it Cammy on the gig? I thought it was Harry or, and Cammy on the gig, but oh well, I've got Willie and Chris there. <laughs> And that's the, the gig is just down there, just in between the wall and the car, yeah, that's the one. Right, Carl, we're back. Oh, we are indeed. <laughs> well, we're done. That was bizarre. That was loud. That, that was, was insane. Was louder than I, I, I got some clips, but my, my ears are shot from getting it. To be fair, they weren't great beforehand. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's me, just back to Perth now. It's just going on 11 o'clock now. I'm absolutely knackered, but um, my God, it felt good to play music with other people tonight. I actually couldn't, I could not stop smiling <laughs> um, during the gig. Mental, a year, a year and four months or something without any music, so I um, feel like I've waited a while for tonight and it was great and everyone had a good time, so I'm not going to say much more than that. Um, what a night though, brilliant night. So. I managed to get a quick couple of clips. So here they are, my first um, my first gig back since the 14th of March, 2020, and I'll see you all in the next video. <laughs>